So I was chilling at the pool a few weeks ago when I got a on my phone. It was a DM, but not just any DM. This one was pretty special. It was from Royal Caribbean asking me if I wanted to join them on their ship, the Navigator of the Seas, to explore the brand new island, Perfect Day at Coco Cay. It was going to depart in four days, so super short notice, and they wanted to know if I was down, and of course I said yes. <laughs> As you can imagine, I was absolutely stoked on the trip, so I packed up my gear, hopped on the plane, and embarked on the 12-hour trip east. I didn't know much, but what I did know is that whatever it was, it was going to be a ton of fun. We're in Miami! So we just made it back to the room. Royal Caribbean hooked it up. We got the balcony state room with the ocean view. And we're about to go check out the ship. So after familiarizing ourselves with the ship a bit, it was time for the moment we've all been waiting for, the main event. We were gonna have our perfect day at Coco Cay. And let me tell you, it lives up to the name. Looking like the swell is up today. We're about to hit this wave pool. Let's go. I'm drop top down, calling up my digits in my motor all line up. Speeding like I robbed someone. Falling and I'm a whip, yeah. Out in Fairfax, going hard in the pit, yeah. Yeah, I still ball in the pit, yeah. Something wrong with the picture. Something is wrong with the way, and I don't know why. Why, why, why? Why you need to lie, lie, lie? Something is wrong with the way, and I don't know why. Why, why, why? How do you get by, by, by? Perfect Day at Coco Cay is Royal Caribbean's private island in the Bahamas that they just recently finished renovations on for over $250 million. The ship dropped us off of the island and we stayed all day because there's just so much to do. From pools to slides, all you can eat restaurants, zip lines, and of course, the world famous Bahama Blue Water. So we're currently at the top of North America's largest water slide. How tall is it? It is 135 feet high, which is crazy high, which means you have to walk a lot upstairs, but it'll be worth it. We're about to head down this thing. Let's go. Who would have thought that he would understand? And I just never fall out. I just want to win. I'm in it for the long run. I do this on my fam. So after a long day of thrilling on the slides, we decided to chill it off over a chill island where they have some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. You can snorkel, you can swim, or if you want, you can kick back with a drink in your hand, chilling on a hammock. But, you know, honestly, I have no chills, so I decided to do the thing I've been wanting to do all day. After a 10 hour day of fun in the sun, we decided to head back to the ship and try to sneak in one last slide ride before sunset. Oh man, and that is a wrap on my time with Royal Caribbean on Navigator of the Seas. Had such a blast out here. I'm gonna go get dried off. See you guys later, peace.